Boom, what's up guys? Oh, sweet outdoors. Yeah, we're on the back porch. Deal with it. Got off work, cooked some dinner, helped the nephew with some homework. And here we are. All right, today's video is an update slash hacks video for the electric lunchbox. So stick around. Pretty interesting few little things that uh, I come up with to just make it a little easier, a uh, little more user-friendly things that you can do in it. So stick around, guys. Still there? Cool. All right. The electric lunchbox. If you don't want to know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my video on the electric lunchbox. Okay, first thing I did was I took this, got rid of it. I don't like it. It's too thin. It's cheap. It's it's not worth it. It's garbage. I spent the money. What I paid for this bag is the same one I paid for the lunchbox, but it'll last. Boom. That's right. Nice little tactical. Molly bag, got Molly thing, you know, Molly straps on the back to where you can hook stuff up there that you might need. It's got pockets on the side. This pocket here, I've got my two charging cords. This pocket here, I got my hot sauce and my Blues Hall Championship Win barbecue sauce. Gotta have it. It's got a pocket right here on the front. I got the cleaning towel in there right now, but that's it. Now, the inside. You've got a lot more room on the inside. The lunch box from side to side fits perfect. I'll show you. Fits perfect. You got a little more room up top to put some other things, and you got another pocket right here. So that's that. Now, as far as the lunch box, there's a couple modifications that I've made for the lunchbox. Now, work with me and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First thing we did is basically, uh, I thought I had this dried out, but it must have sweated. So let me dry it out. First thing I did, I went to Walmart Got me some of this thin aluminum grilling grates for vegetables and stuff. Cut it to size and bent it so that I can place it inside my lunchbox. If you take pizza, any kind of bread, stuff like that, and just put it in there directly on the bottom as it warms up, it makes the bottom of your pizza and cinnamon rolls and all that stuff real hard. This keeps it up off the cooking grate, warming grate to where it doesn't, that doesn't happen, and it works fine. Now, another option. Now, this is removable. You can put your food directly in here, put it in there, seal it up, warm up your food. It's, that's what it's designed for. It's not a problem at all, except for the fact that you have to wash it every time you're done with it. This thing's got a lot of condensation built up on it. Keep an eye on that. But again, there's, there's not a problem with that. You can do that. You don't put food directly in here. You will burn this thing up. Food goes in here. Or, you go to your local Walmart, Target, Winn-Dixie, Publix, whatever. Get some of these nice aluminum carryout pans. I pick them up at my Walmart. It comes seven to a pack for three dollars. And look at that. An absolute perfect fit. Perfect. I mean, you don't have to worry. It comes with a little lid that goes over top. It goes on top here and then you fold the corners down and seal it. Just like your regular takeout. But then you don't have to 
keep cleaning this. All your food is going to be directly in here. Works out great. I did some, uh, what did I do? I forget. It's been, oh, I did some spaghetti. Did some spaghetti last week, put it in here, and it worked perfect. Absolutely perfect. You know, if you fill this completely up with food, it's been in the refrigerator all night, you put it in here, it's probably going to take an hour, hour and a half to get it good and hot to eat. Another option is once your food is in here, you can pour a little bit of water right down in here, and the water will help heat it up as well. So, that's hack number two. Now, I was wondering about cooking in this thing and if you haven't seen it go check out my hot dog cooking hot dog video where i just put some water in here placed a couple hot dogs in here and i cooked hot dogs took about took about 45 minutes but it cooked them perfect to eat no problem so it got me wondering what else i could cook in here you're not gonna cook a steak or a chicken. Give it up. I was thinking about breakfast. I put some eggs in here. I cheated a little bit. I used egg beaters. Just to just do a test run. Let me warn you. You do need to put some kind of cooking spray. Some butter. Something in here. Because they will stick if you don't. So I put some cooking spray in here. A little bit of olive oil. I put the equivalent of about three eggs in here. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. They were good to go. Now, I had to come and stir them up, and but it worked perfect. And you could probably do a small omelet in here. It worked great. Or you can pre-cook everything, put it in here, and you're good to go. But it's good to know that you can do that stuff. And if you are going to cook directly into there, you need to get you some kind of utensil. I believe in being prepared for anything that I'm going to run into. So, yes, it comes with a little spoon and a little fork, but i got to be different. I borrowed my granddaughter's little spatula from her kitchen set. I was able to get the eggs up, stir them around, just like an omelet. And, and it was great. It worked out perfect. Personally, I didn't care for the egg beaters. Didn't realize they were fake eggs for the most part. Made with real eggs is not 100% real eggs. Anywho, it worked out perfect. They were okay. I didn't like the aftertaste of the egg, egg beaters. But next time I do it, I'm going to do it with real eggs. And I'll do a video and bring that one to you. Maybe some diced ham. Some onions, some peppers, you know, like southwestern omelet, something like that. Just see what we can do in here. Um, today is Monday. Thursday, you can look forward to me doing a solo overnight in the cab of my truck at a Florida highway rest area. Yes. I have to pick up my granddaughters on Friday. So I'm going to take advantage of the situation. And I'm going to drive up the interstate and pick a rest area and I'm going to do an overnighter there. All my meals will be in here. I'll have dinner and breakfast that will be done in here. I haven't decided what yet. But, I mean, I might just do maybe some soup or some gumbo or something like that for dinner and then maybe do some you know, can of sausage, sausage gravy for breakfast. I don't know yet. But we're going to do something. And it's all going to be done in here. So look forward to that. The first of the solo overnighters stealth camping in the rest area. Should be pretty cool. Hope I don't get shot and raped. Or shot then raped. Ugh. Anywho. Hope you enjoyed these couple little hacks. Like I said, all this stuff just makes it easier for me personally to do my lunch, to do my breakfast when I'm going somewhere, especially at work, you know, because eating out, even fast food, it gets expensive and it's not that great for you. This way right here, you can make a little extra at dinner at night 
and you'll have a little something, some home cooked meal for for lunch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tonight for dinner, I made myself a big old pot of uh, Dinty Moore beef stew and rice. Boy, it always hits good, don't it? Got me some leftovers. That'll be lunch tomorrow. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. Do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like. Definitely hit that subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Do me another big favor. Actually, it's doing you a favor. Go over and check out my video for the giveaway of the Harbor Freight Survival Kit. 2,500 views, and I give it away. You guys are doing awesome on the original unboxing video. 11,000 views. You people are badass. I tell you what. I love you guys. But go check out the giveaway video. If that video gets 2,500 views, I give the survival kit away to one of you lucky subscribers. Subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe. Check us out. Oh, give me that thumbs up. Hit the notification button too. That way you're made aware next time one of these cool ass videos drop. Uh, check us out on Facebook and TikTok, The Sweet Outdoors. And that's it. Look forward to this weekend's video. Like I said, solo overnight. Solo overnight. I ain't even, I ain't even had a drink yet. Solo overnight at a Florida rest stop. That ought to be pretty fun. Be safe. God bless. Let's get outside, people.